Well, good morning, everybody. It's an absolutely glorious day today. The sun is shining. All the trees are budded. Uh, so those of you with allergies, fuck, you're screwed. But for me, it's absolutely gorgeous. The windows are open. It's cold, but I like it that way because, you know, hot flashes. So, so today, we're going to make up for the sins of yesterday with the mac and cheese. Oops, sorry. And we're gonna do a super healthy uh, veg uh, vegetarian, I don't know, salad, uh, dish, whatever. Hats off to my lovely, beautiful, talented niece, Madeline Murphy, who lives in Brooklyn and is locked down like everybody else. Uh, she made this up. And so I'm gonna follow her recipe or fucking change it. What do I care? Here's all you need. Sweet potatoes that I roasted with the skin on and we're gonna eat it that way with the skin on. A can of beans, white, great northern beans. Um, I bitched about canned foods, but sometimes you just gotta. Some darling little tomatoes and some feta cheese, which is kind of buttery. If you don't have feta and if you got, uh, if you can get farmer's cheese, do that because it's just so bloody good. Um, this is basically all that's gonna go in it. You, of course, can add anything else that you want, anything. We're gonna make that with a chimichurri sauce. Now the chimichurri sauce comes originally from Argentina and I have uh, most of the ingredients that it's called for and what I don't have, I'm gonna drop kick and fucking make it up like I always do. So, stand by, here we go. Okay, now for the uh, chimichurri sauce, all we're going to need is, I gotta do a little reading, three quarters of a cup of olive oil. We've got a, about a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, about a half a cup of cilantro, quarter cup of parsley, salt, duh. Uh, oregano, this recipe calls for, what the fuck? Two tablespoons of fresh oregano, which I couldn't find anywhere. It's shocking that there's ingredients missing from the store. So I got this dried stuff. I won't use two tablespoons though. Two uh, cloves of garlic, two to four is what it's called for, a small shallot and a jalapeno. This was my inspiration for today's outfit. Ooh, that would be cute, right? All of these nummy things are gonna go into a, a Vitamix and we're gonna mash the crap out of it. So here's how we do that. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm gonna take the one small shallot, put that in, the two garlics, put that in. The jalapeno with the seeds, you know, if you keep the seeds in, it's gonna be hotter. If you pull the seeds out, you know, whatever. A little bit of salt. I'm gonna put in about uh, one, one teaspoon, or maybe a little bit more, of oregano. I'm gonna put in the cilantro, yeesh. The parsley, put that in there. The red wine uh, vinegar, which, and what did I tell you? Uh, a quarter of a cup. And here is half a cup of olive oil to start with. I'm gonna owe it another quarter cup of olive oil at the very least. But this will get it moistened and get it ready to mix. When I add the rest of the olive oil in, it's gonna go in through this hole. Vitamixes are spectacular because they liquefy everything. It's way better than, you know, any one of those other little bullet things. I'm not a fan. So uh, this is gonna make a shit ton of noise, but I'll, I'll replace it with somebody or something else. This is how you make the chimichurri. is extraordinary that it, it needs nothing else absolutely nothing else except this okay i'll show you how we put it together 
You can't even believe how good this is. It comes out smooth, 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 smooth. Look at that. This is gonna be a lot more than I need for one person. So in tasting it, I promise you, this is gonna be so good on so many other things. And also, by the way, I think it would be really good on a, on a regular lettuce salad to make it not so regular. But watch how easy it is to clean a Vitamix. I gotta show you. Okay, I just rinsed it out in the sink, nothing. Put in one drop of any kind of um, detergent, dish detergent, close it and clean. You're welcome. Okay. I have everything I need now to make this beautiful meal. I have four small sweet potatoes, which I roasted this morning and I cut them up kind of bite-sized pieces and I left the skin on. There are so many delicious and good nutrients in there for you with the skin. Uh, did you know that uh, sweet potatoes are a superfood? You should be eating these every day, at least a piece or two or whatever, along with mushrooms every stinking day. Then I have uh, cubed feta cheese that I just broke apart with my fingers. I took those uh, cherry tomatoes. Here's carbon in half. Oh, it's so good. And the beans, great knowledge. My awesome chimichurri sauce, which matches everything. This was the whole idea for the outfit today. And we will just drizzle that all over the whole thing. Where's my apron? Shit, whatever. Oh my God, you're gonna love this. Mm. So good. Now, we very gently toss that about as best we can. This might take me a minute to get it coated. So I will tell you this. Yesterday, I tried to kill you with uh, shrimp mac and cheese, but it was really good. So you really need to try that little out, that little thing. Using the same dish that I used to make the mac and cheese, I'm now christening it with this very healthy food uh, that you are gonna love. You are going to love. This is the sort of meal that you can just stuff your potch with this much as you want. Who cares? It's good for you. Oh my lordy lord. You know, if you want more sauce on it, add it. No problem. You toss it gently so the stuff doesn't break apart. When you've decided you have it how you want it, spoon on a generous serving for you, for the family, for everybody, and get it in there over your, ugh, this is gonna be so good. Maybe another little drizzle of green sauce on top of that, or some parsley, or some, you know what would be good? Some avocado on this. Oh my God, I didn't think of it till later. So there. We have sweet potatoes a la Maddie Murphy with chimichurri sauce. Oh, <laughs> man, that's good. Pepper got in there. This is lunch and dinner for me today. And now to make up for this, uh, tomorrow I'm going to make you something that it will include in one, in one bite, bacon, chocolate, and tequila. Are you intrigued? Go eat your vegetables. If you do that, I'll make you a bacon treat tomorrow. Folks, that's all I got today. What did you do for somebody else yesterday? I hope you did something great. Please do something great today. We're all in this together and we're not gonna get out of this unless we're together on everything. So thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends to like and share and subscribe. Oh, fuck me, I became that person. See you tomorrow. Holy shit. Mm. Alexa, call Maddie Murphy and tell her I'm going to put her in my will. Hmm, I don't know that. Well, fuck you. <laughs>